So we've got the MV3 on the go. We're going to try and net this. Ready? Let's do it. Three, Let's go two, for it. one. Oh. Good lad. Right, so this is Ash. We have been working together now, what, six months? About six months. About six yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. Now we're coming about seven, eight weeks into a surplus now, aren't we? After doing a little bit of a, a dieting phase to get him in a, in a good position. And he's travelled like about, about three hours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, about three hours. About three hours, wow. Um, and that's something which I really want to do this year is um, train with clients more, spend more time with like yourself and try and see how you train in person. And if I can build a better relationship with my clients, I think that will really help my business. And if I know that you're doing your job right, that makes my life a lot more easier. We're in legs for today. Oh, legs today and you know what it's like legs yeah. you know what it's like yeah. we're gonna bring the intensity today um we're we're gonna have a really good session what i might do if i can is try and see if we can um maybe give some exercise cues maybe just help out here and there if i need to i know how well and how hard you train legs so it's gonna be a really really good session obviously numbers are gonna be a bit everywhere with ash but we're gonna i'm gonna try and aim for try and see if i can build up to that 500 kilo leg press um see how i go on the smith back squats today we're just gonna take a session and bring the intensity. Oh, Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Do it. So um, sit back, relax, and uh, if you haven't liked, like the video already because that does help a lot. Always start my sessions with a leg extension. Always start off with a line leg curl, which is my first movement, so I'll do that as a warm up. And then I do a little bit of abduction just to warm up the glutes because my glutes are weak, are a weak point for me. I can't seem to activate them much. So when I start off with something like that and they're already slightly pre fatigued, that means I can get the most out of it. Um, and I can actually use my glutes when I need to. And like, for example, let's say a squat mo uh, motion, like the Smith Fat Squats we're going to do today, but actually be able to use my glutes instead of. Not using them, simple as that. Hello, we are back with another voiceover. This one is going to be a Q&A style voiceover instead of me just waffling for five minutes and you not getting any value at all. Um, <laughs> first one is not, it, you're just going to fucking think, what am I clicking onto here? Ever shat yourself during a set? I have, believe it or not. I don't know if I've ever told this story before, but leg press, I've pooed myself twice. Once was really, really bad to the point of where I had to actually take off my boxer shorts. So this is the story which happened on prep. I actually pooed myself on prep and I went into the toilet and I actually had to take off my boxers, go outside to the wheelie bin they have outside, put my boxers in there and continue with the rest of the session commando. So I had no underwear on and just got on with the session. I actually really did brace and accidentally just sharted and it just came all the way out and I was like, yeah, I've just pooed myself. You know when you get really insecure in public, like you really want to sort it out and it was just a bloody mess. So yeah, I actually have shat myself um, on the leg press and it was an awful experience, but whatever it takes, whatever it takes, you've got to get the job done. If you need to, you know, change your boxes or you need to take them off and put them in the bin, go on with a session, do it. I mean, I'm not going home just because I pooed myself. Fuck that. I'll take the box off and get on with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, that has provided no value at all, but there we go. That's question number one. <laughs> Tips to bulk when in a very active job. Postman, 20k steps a day. So the ability to eat is going to dictate how far you can progress. Um, obviously, you know, the more output you're doing, you're going to need to be eating more. Like a lot of my clients who are on a higher output simply need more to 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 to, to gain simple to the the, 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 the the to gain Christ it's not getting better I don't know I overcomplicate things in my head and I start stuttering Christ get out you thick fucker anyway you need to eat simple as that you need to be able to eat you're going to be on higher foods than most people like for myself I do like four thousand steps a day I mean yeah my food's quite high because my metabolism's quite in quite, quite high um, or quite quick if you want to call it that but the ability to eat and also recovery is going to be important so managing all your variables outside of it so sleep hydration 
stress stress is a big one which a lot of people don't put a lot of effort into so you know manage your stress meditation is a great way of managing that so i use something called headspace sometimes where i do like five minutes in the morning five minutes before i go to bed and it really helps with your inner self it might sound hippie it might sound weird as shit like hey bro you fucking meditate bro that's weird as fuck but trust me it's, it's one of the biggest game changers i've uh, i've implemented i haven't done it recently not gonna lie to you but when i did used to meditate it helped a bunch so just managing all those stresses managing every single variable as best as you can joe latest time joe joe you're a uh og og subscriber latest time you'd eat before bed so on prep i would eat about 30 minutes to an hour before i go to bed and then in my off season right now i eat about an hour and a half to about two hours before i go to bed why i do that is typically like i don't want to be digesting food whilst trying to sleep like you want to be in a stress-free like to fall asleep you want to be stress-free that's both external so life in general you know with the missus fucking mum and dad work and both internally so digesting food is a stress upon the body you know we don't want to be digesting food whilst trying to fall asleep so i typically wait about an hour and a half two hours that allows me to let my stomach stomach settle it allows it to pass through the digestive system well the stomach ready to be digested the pace the depending on what I'm eating, of course. Um, and that allows me to have a perfect night's sleep as well because I'm not wake up, waking up in the night sweating. My blood sugar levels are waking me up because they're going up and down. We've all had that. We've ate too close to bedtime. Our stomachs are fucking full. And we just wake up midnight in a ball of sweat or just, you know, blood sugar levels just keep going up and down throughout the night and waking us up. Not good. Not good at all. Um, Instagram tips. So I'm far from instagram famous or anything like that i've only got like eleven thousand followers but my best advice i was fucked here by the way absolutely written off by that leg press but my best advice for anyone who's looking to build up a social media following or youtube following is content 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 the more content you can get up there out there the, the more people are going to be able to view it that's what brandon Harding once said like the more videos you upload that's more opportunity for people to see it and that's exactly why i upload like you know every two days or wherever it is at the moment because i want to get content out there yes it's the same old shit but you know if there's more of me out there the chance of me being clicked on is going to be higher um and being unique as well finding that unique spot like when i was at when i started doing um youtube and instagram i was at university and there wasn't much student budget stuff out there you know i i did that type of stuff like it's quite cool seeing someone who's like 16 and be able to squat 250 kilos like you never ever see that that's a unique selling point people want to know how you do that so find a a niche and, and, and go for it and as well as that basic stuff like patience consistency i mean you doing youtube now for three years and i've got what night need 20 000 subscribers out of it yes it's an achievement but in the, in the amount of effort and work i've put in it's barely fuck all like 11 000 followers on instagram is fuck all so it takes time to build up unfortunately um so i hope those uh, a few of those help if, if if you give a fuck um and another one i'm trying to scroll through it this is not the best tips on hitting high carbs currently on 575 gram of carbs not gaining weight so my best advice is is just get the food in like if you need to go to dirt, junk food go to junk food get the calories in your body doesn't know this is carbs from rice and this is carbs from pizza or chips your body just knows this is food this is calories um so a few options which i would go for you've got really high carb diet and struggling cereals jam Way, um, way. Highly balanced psychodextrin, so carb powder, pop tarts. Pop tarts are like two mouthfuls and it's gone. You're like, fuck me, that's like 150 calories. Easy digesting stuff like that to get, get it down you and just do whatever it takes. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this voiceover and I shall see you in the next clip. Right, so that was our leg day done. Um, I think our moods were better when we first started to where they are now. I think yeah. we're just sitting here just going, but how did you find it? I thought it was fantastic to be honest. Like, start the session like you say, very high energy, and now just absolutely ruined. Yeah. <laughs> but in um, a good way, in a good way. Yeah, that's why I always say with leg days, it's just about intent. You just gotta bring it, like, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, push days, pull days, they're still good. But yesterday's session was still good. It doesn't compare to a leg day. Yeah, you unlock another level day. You just kind of zone in, it's just wow. And when you bury yourself on the leg press, the squatting, the split squat, it's, I don't even know, I just can't. I've, I'm lost for words right now in all honesty, that's how I feel. But like I said, I wanna kind of show you how intent, not saying you need to train this way, because I don't, you know, everyone's very different on that standpoint, but I want to tell clients and people, right, this is how you can train, this is where you can get to potentially where I'm at, by bringing the intensity, working hard, and just, it don't matter how strong you are, I don't care, you know, the loads that you did today, 
not bothered at all. It's just working extremely hard, and that, that will take you somewhere. And that's what we say to people on Instagram, YouTube. If you can work extremely hard, then um, you can definitely get involved. Exactly like yourself. You've worked extremely hard, and you've got the results. You know, just by that was, that was my goal of the session today was to learn as much as possible, not worry about the way, leave the, leave the ego at the door type thing, and just really try and nail my foot. Yeah, and just learn from the sessions. And what was the what was what was the biggest thing you learned over the two days training wise? How to spot properly. <laughs> <laughs> and how not to shit yourself on the uh, yeah. on the leg press. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, spotting. Spotting's quite difficult, especially if you've never spotted before. You need to. I always communicate with like spotters to tell them how how I would like it to be done. There's nothing worse than when you're lit when you're just doing hovering like, over the bar. Yeah, yeah, they just lift up for you. And you're thinking. Yeah. I've been guilty of that, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I've been guilty of it as well. Yeah. But you kind of when someone tells you what they like, you kind of start to realise. Yeah. Another, another big thing I learned as well was when I get towards the end of a set. I find when it's when the intensity is higher and rush the eccentrics. Yeah. So that's something I'm going to take away as well. Yeah. Slow down the eccentrics. Sure. Um, I noticed with Ash what he would do is when he would get to failure, he would. I think he's only got one more left in the tank, but he had like four extra reps and. Those four extra reps were just moving weight. It was just rushed. It was just moving weight from A to B, and it wasn't actually taking it to muscular failure. It was just form was breaking down. It was just a case of just moving weight from A to B. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind when form breaks down towards the end of the set, but when it gets to a point of where you're doing like five additional reps past what you was doing to muscular failure, then I think the set's done. The set is done. Um, but no, really, really good. And it's been a pleasure for you to come down. And uh, absolute pleasure, mate. You yeah. travel so far and it, it, it means a lot to me and definitely we'll, we'll have to do this one time again and I'll come up yeah, to Hull. Uh, we'll try Ultraflex in Hull. Ultraflex, yeah. yeah. I've been to Ultraflex but I don't know what the whole one's like so it should, it should be good. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's good. Um, but I hope you see what we've done within that session um, and if you can take anything from what Ash has said and what I've said then perfect. Um, we're both fucked. Yeah. Let's say we're going <laughs> to have a good night's night sleep tonight. Uh, and yeah. yeah, thank you for watching. See you in a bit. Update since I've been home. Yeah, not moved much in all honesty. The blue light blocker's on, just, yeah, just gonna sit here. A leg day just takes it out of you, doesn't it? It buries me into the ground and I'm just absolutely fucked. Just, I don't know if that's the right way to train. Like, should you be absolutely fucked after a leg day? Let us know in the comments down below. Should you be fucked? Like, should you be able to walk around and be fine? Like, I, I, can, I can walk, of course. I, I'm exaggerating there. The thought of going, getting up right now and doing something is just the last thing I ever want to do in my fucking head. <laughs> is, that, is that what it should be like? For me, that's how I like to train. That knows I push things. I push things really hard. That I like that feeling. I don't know. I'm waffling. I'm chatting 45 seconds about should you be training legs hard to the point where you bury yourself? Yes. Yes, you should, motherfucker. You fucking should. Stop swearing, George. That's my goal. That was my goal last year. 2019, my goal was to stop swearing. 2020, still ain't changed. Got progressively worse, if anything. Okay, this morning, 168. 76.5 kg. Just over 12 stone now. So it's slowly but surely going up. It is the 21st of February now which is it's going very very quickly as i always say life goes quicker when you get older that's what i've realized so make the most of it when you're bloody young when you're a young stallion make the most of it wow we'll start to the video there or we'll start to this day i'm in for rest day cardio because i like doing cardio to start my day i don't really need to do it if i'm honest with you i could just probably just get up and get on with the day but for me cardio is an excuse not an excuse it's just a it just makes me feel good, like it gets me out of bed, it gets me productive and I feel on top of the world when I'm done and I feel like, right, I'm ready to start the day. I'm a massive fan in, in doing cardio, uh, not too often in the off season, but you want to do it to, you know, keep fitness there. I think I'm a big fan of fitness, like if you're sitting there and you're breathing like a bloody monster, it's not good, you know, it's not good to be unfit like that, like you should be fit at the age of like 19, 20, you shouldn't be massively overweight and, you know, bloody... The fat's mess <laughs> at 20. You should be healthy, you should be good, you should be in the prime of your life. And for me, CV definitely does help that. And also, you know, appetite reasons as well. I mean, some sometimes you get in the off season where your appetite's just meh. Just look at food and think, oh, I don't want to fucking eat you anymore. Cardio is a great way of just kick and start your, just kick and start that appetite. Like for me, after I do my cardio, I'm like, I, I need some fucking food now, I need some food. So, 
there are a few benefits to cardio. I think sometimes it can hinder your performance if you are training um, and you know you're not recovering. For example, your lower body sessions and you're not progressing. Then I would look into right, you know, how often are you doing cardio? You're doing too much because sometimes you can do too much in the off season. Your body just can't like just can't take it. So yeah, be smart with your cardio in terms of that. Like, I auto regulate mine. If I don't feel like I want to do it, I won't do it. If I feel like I can do it. I would do it. So yeah, that's kind of how I work with my cardio side of things. Don't automatically think I don't need to do cardio or don't automatically think that you have to do cardio every single time you train because you don't necessarily have to at all. Um, that's one thing, that's one important thing to think about. And some cunts just fucking cut me up as well. Twat. <laughs> Wasn't good after training legs yesterday. Cardio is always very, very hard after doing a leg day. It really is. The calves are on fire. But just get my head down. What I do is I answer a load of questions on um, Instagram, like I ask a question thing on there. Make sure you follow me on there, George Osmond 12. I try and keep as active as possible on there. Uh, but that's 30 minutes done. That's 30 hard minutes on so level 8 and level 9. I'm trying to build myself up to level 10, but I just don't feel like that's going to come anytime soon as I'm getting heavier. It's getting harder, but I want to be able to say I'm pretty fit and just not fat mess as I mentioned earlier in the last clip. Yeah, feeling good. Feeling refreshed and just like ready to start the day. Like it's 8 o'clock, ready to start the day. Boom, happy days. Right, you wee little fuckers. That's my Scottish accent. It's not very good. Got me down with flowers if you've watched the whole thing. Anything you want to see in the comments? Anything you want to see in the comments? Don't make sense, George. Anything you want to see, comment down below is what I was trying to say. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the weekend. I don't want to promise that though. I'll probably see you Monday.